Hey guys, Dr. Nanami here. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I'm going to do this quick video uh, to provide just a general framework for teaching addition. Uh, this could easily be subtraction, division, and multiplication. I've gotten a lot of questions as to when you move on to the different parts of the teaching or the learning process. So hopefully this helps address some of those questions. To me, there are three key steps uh, to learning any of the orders of operation. Okay, and For this video, I'm going to focus on addition. The first step is understanding the concept. The second step is memorizing the actual facts. And then the third step is mastery. So going back to understanding the concept, this part of the whole equation to me is the easiest part to teach. For example, um, you know, problem two plus two. The conceptual part um, is understanding, and you guys have probably seen this in previous videos, that this means two objects plus another two objects equals four objects, okay? And um, you guys have seen this in a few other videos, and if you haven't seen it, feel free to check this out. So if your child is starting the process of either addition or subtraction, and they don't have the concept down, that's where I would start, okay? Understanding that addition is bringing two things together. Once they actually understand that, the next step is memorizing the math facts, okay? This is actually the challenging part of this whole process. I would say for me, the understanding of the concept portion is probably about maybe 25% of learning the whole process, okay? Understanding and memorizing the facts, probably about 50%. It's great if a child knows and can do addition with manipulative, but at some point, in order for that child to advance, they need to be able to recall all of their math facts. They need to know that four plus five equals nine. They need to know two plus two is four. And this whole part here is the part that takes the longest amount of time, which is why I'm such a proponent of early access and early education, because it allows you to spread this whole portion over a long period of time and really build on it. You know, imagine a child who's in class and has about three months to learn all of their math facts. That child may have it down for a short period of time, but if they don't have sufficient time to learn all of it, some of those math facts are going to be left out. And then later on, when they go to larger operations, even if they understand how to do the operations, it's the inability to recall those facts quickly, which will slow them down. Okay. So, you know, there are a number of ways you can do this, uh, and I'll create a separate video going over this portion of because I think it's probably the hardest part to actually teach. Once they understand their math facts, the third thing is then mastery, okay? Mastery is how quickly a child can recall these facts with very little effort, okay? And once again, that's about 25%. So even if a child knows the math facts, if every time they are recalling them or using them, they have to sit there and think even if they get the final answer because they've memorized it, if they can't recall it quickly, then that becomes a problem. So for all of uh, my kids, you know, I generally will do regular assessments, okay, uh, for all of the orders of operation. At this point, most of them understand the concept. Most of them have the memorization of the facts down. Then what we work on is mastery. Mastery allows you to use these facts quickly and then do more complex problems. So for anybody who is thinking about either introducing addition or subtraction, you know, use this framework to do an initial assessment on your child. You know, ask yourself, you know, do they actually understand the concept? If they don't understand the concept, no need to get into the memorization of the facts. Make sure they understand the concept. Once they understand the concept, you have to be able to move on to the next part because this is the part that's going to take the most amount of time. And that is just memorizing the facts, being able to recall them, and then once they have memorized the facts, it's not enough to say, oh, right, they know it and stop. You have to really get to this third level of mastery. And at that level of mastery, you give them the numbers and they recall it quickly with very little effort. And that's how you know they're ready. Once they can integrate this for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, almost every single problem that you teach them is gonna be so much easier. If you have a child who's doing higher level problems like multiplication, division, even algebra, and they don't have this down for all four orders of operation, it's never too late to go back and revisit this. Once they achieve mastery, it makes all of the other problems so much easier. Hope this helps. Um, once again, thank you guys for all your feedback and comments.